What's going on YouTube? My name's Will and in today's video I'm going to be doing another request so shout out to you and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing three beginner exercises to strengthen the scapula and I will be doing an advanced version of this so make sure to subscribe for that but without any further ado let's get straight into the video. So guys I want to give you the first three exercises that come to my mind when it comes to strengthening the scapula. Why do we need to strengthen the scapula? Well, the scapula is involved in pretty much every exercise that we do in terms of stability, whether that be normal calisthenics, weighted calisthenics, or even just plain, simple weightlifting. The scapula is involved in some way. So you need to make sure that you have a strong base in that to be able to move on from basic to more advanced exercises, or in the case of weightlifting, to add more weight to the bar. So the three exercises that I'm gonna go through today are the scapula pull-up, the scapula push-up, and also the supported position on parallel bars. Let's get into this. I'm gonna do this in the form of a voiceover because I haven't done one in a while and also it's just quicker for me to make and I'm constrained for time today. So let's get into the voiceover right now. So guys, the scapula pull up. This is gonna be a major, major player if you're trying to improve your pull up form or if you're trying to improve your scapula strength to be able to do a front lever. I will be moving on to the advanced version of this in a future video so look out for that that will be especially important for the front lever and as for the pull-up I'll leave a link up in the corner where I explain how that is going to help for pull-ups but for this exercise what we're going to do is dead hang from a bar so our shoulders are going to be shrugged up by our ears and we're going to basically do a reverse shrug motion pulling the shoulder blades down and together this is going to be training scapula depression and retraction and I'll run through the six different movements that your scapula can do just in a second but for this you want to pull up as if you're going to do a pull up without bending your arms hold at the top for a couple of seconds and then lower yourself slowly back down and repeat for reps as I said the scapula can move in six different planes of motion so first of all you've got retraction which is basically where you're squeezing them together protraction where you're pulling them apart elevation where you're shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears depression where you're pulling them down towards your toes frontward rotation or upward rotation as shown here and the complete opposite to that which is downward rotation and the three exercises i'm going to be showing you today will hit most of these but not all of them because we need to do the advanced to get all six so the second exercise is scapular push-ups you want to just get in a normal push-up support position come down and just relax your scapula without bending your arms at all into that kind of retracted position but it's not active retraction you're just relaxing there and then you want to protract them so push your shoulder blades apart and push yourself up into that top position you want to maintain a tight core whilst you're doing this a hollow body position if you like if you guys did see my planche pseudo planche push-up tutorial then that was a big part of doing that so that is exactly what this is going to help you with if you're going to be trying to do pseudo planche push-ups it's also going to help you with any planche static training and regular push-ups as well so the last exercise that we have is the support hold this is very very easy you just want to get a set of p-bars get into a hollow body position and then push yourself away from the bars as hard as you can and it's going to look something like this now that is obviously training scapular depression again and if you can push your hips forwards so that they're in line with your wrists or if you can do better than that if you can get them in front of your hands then that will be training the downward rotation movement plane and this is going to translate really well into things like dips it's going to really help with dip form and also the L sit if we can advance onto that so then guys those are my three beginner exercises for improving scapular strength and as I just mentioned these are key exercises if you want to be able to move on to more advanced things such as improving your pull-ups potentially getting your muscle up if you're working on any planche kind of training or planche push-ups and also moving on to the L-sit and the L-sit to handstand. All these advanced calisthenics exercises, you're gonna need good scapular strength, as well as for the front lever, which is 
absolutely insane. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video and you want me to make more tutorial videos like this, make sure you drop it a like. And also don't forget, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel because quite frankly, why would you not? And also make sure you ding dong the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload because we lit. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to drop your video suggestions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.